Rainbow Six Siege is introducing some new hardware with the reveal of Crystal Guard, and it's giving the attackers a chance to do some constructive redecorating. A new operator named Osa has designed transparent, bulletproof shields that she can deploy in windows, doors, or the middle of the floor. Can she give her attacker allies the power to reinforce a position and turn the map to their advantage? Or will the defenders see right through her plans? Crystal Guard is also bringing operator balance tweaks to IQ, Fuse, and Twitch a flashy rework to flashbangs, and map updates to Clubhouse, Coastline, and Bank. Subscribe to this channel to keep up with the latest in Rainbow Six Siege, and now, let's learn a little bit more about Osa. Osa joins Team Rainbow as a medium-speed, medium-armor attacker, armed with the 556XI assault rifle or the PDW-9 submachine gun in her primary slot, and the PMM handgun as her secondary weapon. In addition to these formidable tools of attack, she can also protect herself and her allies with her Talon 8 clear shields. This gadget brings a little bit of defense to the offense, as Osa can set it up to offer bulletproof cover in otherwise exposed positions to help attackers dig in and push on. But as you can clearly see, there are some big differences between the Talon 8 and the Defender's deployable shields. While they're roughly the same size, the Talon 8 is taller and protects Osa's head when she carries it, unlike the deployable shield. Also, it's see-through. You can see your enemies, and they can see you. Usually when this happens in Siege, someone is dead almost immediately. But the Talon 8s can create some pretty intense stare-downs. These might end abruptly with a quick pop-up from the attacker, or an impact grenade, or C4 from a defender. But they can also turn into standoffs that destabilize the defender's position. Osa's shields can establish angles in key doorways, down lengthy hallways, or from the bottom or top of a window, as she can deploy them while on repel. Combine that with the shield's ability to bust barricades, and Osa can make a room very dangerous very quickly. Defenders can deal with Osa's shields in a couple of ways. Explosives will destroy them easily. Smoke's gas grenades and Tachanka's Shumika launcher can be used to drive any attacker behind the shield out of position. And Clash can just walk right up for the ultimate transparent shield showdown. Defenders can take away that transparency by meleeing the shield to shatter the glass. And much like Mira's black mirrors, Osa's shields have a pressurized canister that can be punctured to drop the shield entirely. With smoke grenades or a claymore to round out her loadout, Osa brings a lot of utility to help modify the battlefield to her allies' advantage, and set up formidable fortifications to give the defenders a taste of their own medicine. A few other operators are in the spotlight in Crystal Guard, including Twitch, whose shock drones will now be able to jump just like their recon counterparts. They'll also shoot a laser instead of a projectile, meaning no drop-off to contend with as you zap anything that dares defy you. Fuse will now be able to use his cluster charges on reinforced walls and hatches to deliver his boom boom pow pucks to exciting and dangerous new locations. The device timer will take a bit longer on a reinforced surface, as well as on Castle's barricades, and the first projectile through will create a hole that allows defenders to shoot the device and halt the deployment of the full complement of explosives. Note that this hole will not become a peak hole after the canister is dispatched. And finally, IQ will now be able to smart ping with her electronics detector, marking specific gadgets for her allies' awareness. This upgrade includes a little indicator in the top right corner of her device window showing what gadget she's about to ping, adding a little bit of intel to your intel, because we heard you like intel. As for maps, Crystal Guard is handling things a bit differently by delivering small updates to three maps as opposed to a major rework to just one. While each of these maps was tuned up to bring destruction, lighting, and gadget placement up to modern Siege standards, there are some specific tweaks you'll want to look out for. 
In Clubhouse, for example, the bar and stockroom bomb site is now just the bar bomb site, with the stockroom bomb being moved to the bar stage area and a new bar door added to help with on-site rotation. Plus, some new outdoor pathing by the kennels will allow quicker outdoor maneuvering. Over on Coastline, the big window in the VIP lounge has been replaced with a destructible wall, and attackers on the DJ booth balcony outside can now repel up to the roof. And there's a new window inside the first floor reception and service entrance area. The third and final updated map is Bank, which has been spruced up with more cover points on the top floor. Additionally, the windows that looked into the top floor from the parking garage have been largely blocked off. Our condolences to Cali. Elevators have been expanded to give a little more room to maneuver. There are no more bars in the vault, and there's a new hatch location to consider in the lobby. Out front, you'll notice that the cars offer a bit more cover to the attacker spawns, and there's a new alleyway from the jewelry spawn to the back alley terrace area that gives you another option besides jumping down a manhole. Note that these are just some of the updates coming to these three maps. You'll have to explore yourself to find them all when Crystal Guard launches. Crystal Guard is also bringing some changes to how flashbangs work to make them more reliable as in more likely to flash someone when it seems like they should be flashed. This change and the map updates and the operator balancing tweaks will be free for all players when Crystal Guard launches. Osa, the new operator, will be unlockable through the premium track of the Crystal Guard Battle Pass when the season launches, and unlockable two weeks after launch with Renown or R6 credits. Follow this channel to keep up with the latest seasons and events in Rainbow Six Siege, and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.